So this is my first uh, frontal install by myself. Like I did that. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to the channel. If you're new, my name is Shade. If you're oldie but a goodie, welcome back. So today's video is a hair video. <laughs> Y'all know I told y'all I'm venturing a little bit in the hair category. Stepping out of my comfort zone, trying something, you know, new. Yes, I'm all about fashion and everything like that and vlogs, but I do want to, you know, the hair makes the look as well. You know what I'm saying? When you got a cute hairstyle, it just brings a whole outfit together. Today's video is in sponsors with ChrisBeautyHair.com. They were kind enough to send me over their new, <laughs> honey, Claire Lace, honey. We're going to talk about it later on in the video, what a Claire Lace looks like. Love it. I'm never going back to no regular old lace. Claire Lace me, please. Thank you. And it was pre-plucked. And when I talk about pre-plucked, I'm not talking like your regular schmegler old degula wig come pre-plucked and you still got to pluck a little bit. I did not pull a tweezer on this hair. It was so amazing the best pre-plucked hair i've seen in a minute like i've seen ever period i am a beginner if you are new to my channel so <laughs> be patient with me it's all about growth on this channel period so this is where we're starting but check me in a few months we're gonna be like that was her that was her back in uh december <laughs> i'll be like yep started from the bottom now we're here if you want to see how i installed this hair please stick around and keep on watching all right y'all so this is how the hair came in this luxurious beautiful box love the packaging 10 out of 10 for that um so the hair came in and of course with some goodies so i got a white tooth comb elastic band if you want to make the wig tighter and of course wig caps and um flexi rods as well so this hair is in 20 inches and it's 200 percent density it is straight this is how the hair looks straight out the package so on the inside there are three combs two on the side and one in the back look at this clear lace y'all let me come a little closer and show y'all look at that and when we talk about pre-plucked honey that's what i'm talking about y'all gonna see how it looks once i put it on my head as well but before we jump in and talk about the hair on my head let's let's do a side by side with the different type of laces so you can clearly see what a clear lace looks like so on my hand right now i have three types of lace so i have a regular brown lace transparent lace and the clear lace now i tacked it down on my hand with some got to be it's not as um it's not as dry but we get the point so the first one that i'm showing you right now is just a regular lace see transparent lace i don't know what that is but let's talk about this clear lace honey one right here look at that look at the part where it's dry though obviously it didn't dry all the way but look at the part yeah i'm showing y'all that's skin honey what lace that's skin so we tack this bad boy down real good clear lace so check this out y'all gift this to your best friend your girlfriend whoever gift this to somebody y'all y'all see that definitely clear lace for the win all right so i threw the wig on my head just to give y'all a preview of what it looks like the clear lace and not bleach his hair or anything because it's clear so i wanted to test that out for y'all um definitely very much given clear and as usual y'all know how i get down i have to customize the wig off of my head first so I'm basic, always with the basic middle part. So I'm going down the middle and I'm just going to get my hot comb, make this bad boy as flat as possible. You go in and flat iron the hair out a little bit more. It didn't need that much. This hair straightened very beautifully. And then I'm just going to cut the air piece. It I didn't have to cut that much off of the air part. So I'm just making sure that fits. Usual, I'm using my got to be free spray. I personally like to take my wigs off at night um so i did maybe one or two layers of the got to be glue now for frontal is a little harder to come off than the closure wig so i think i did keep this hair on though for about two days before i took it off and the layers that i did was just fine enough for me make sure there's someone on the ball cap and also in front of the ball cap so when i lay the wig it lays nice and flat flat and then we're gonna add another layer and after that dries we're gonna put this wig down and I'm just using my rat tail comb to push it into my skin to make sure that it's laying. Now you are seeing my ball cap method. Um, it's my first time doing it. Of course, I took some pointers on what I can improve on, but girl, it's my first time. Okay, so it is given in my opinion. <laughs> it's only up from here. I'm just going to take my elastic band. I'm going to tie it down so that it can really 
you know, melt into my skin. And I probably left this on for maybe a good five minutes. All right, so after five minutes, we're just gonna take this bad boy off and this is what it's looking like. So any loose hair that got it too much into the glue or it's like tacked down, I'm just gonna take my rat tail comb and I'm just gonna comb it out to make it free again. So now it's time to cut the lace off. I was pretty nervous on this part, y'all, because I have not done a frontal before. So I saw on YouTube that the girls be doing theirs in sections. So what I did, I split one in the middle and then I did two on the sides. And I'm just going to work in sections. So to cut it off, I just use my little eyebrow razor and I'm cutting it off slowly. I'm taking my time. I'm really focused, y'all, because I was really nervous. I did end up cutting off some of the hair in the front because I felt like it came up too far on my forehead personally. But I like the fact that Chris Beauty here provides you with the option for my girls that their hairline comes out a little further than mine. So definitely a plus for them. So I'm just working in section and cutting all the way around until I am done and this is what it looks like and of course it looks crazy but we're gonna blend that in we're gonna add some more glue to it so that it can lay down a little bit more now it's time y'all for the baby hair y'all know this is a struggle bus for me and again look how focused i am i'm really focused because i'm like sis we're gonna get this so i parted out my baby hair and i'm taking my hot comb just to separate them from the rest of the hair so i can see how I am going to do them. I'm not gonna cut them as short as I want them. I'm just gonna cut them a little shorter so that I can work in sections. Y'all know this is a struggle for me, so we're just gonna speed this bad boy up until we get a little perfect. I know you're feeling me, reciprocate my energy. I know you're into me, so just let it be. I know you're feeling me, reciprocate my energy. I know you're into me, so just let it be. This is what I was able to come up with for my baby hairs. I did went ahead and tie them down. And this is what they came out as. Y'all know I like to comb them out after I tie them down so they're not as crispy. So that's what I'm just going in with my rat tail comb to loosen them up a little bit this is the hair straighten but of course i wanted to be a little extra i wanted some waves in my hair so i decided to go off camera and put some waves in my hair did my makeup and we are back honey yes sis it is very much good all right guys so i did my makeup off camera and i'm coming with the final look so i decided to put some waves in the hair i didn't want to just wear it straight this is my first uh frontal install by myself like i did that i think i did a good job just for like my first time and everything um obviously as time goes by i'm gonna get better and everything like that but for the first time you know i think it's giving for my first time it is so beautiful so soft and everything like that clear lace everything y'all it is beautiful i didn't bleach the knots i didn't do anything i did go in while i was doing my makeup and i put like a little bit of concealer and a little bit of powder around the edges but nothing crazy nothing extra but overall y'all the thickness of the hair the hair is 200 percent density um like i mentioned before it is beautiful y'all can see it yourselves like i feel like i'm just doing a lot of talking but y'all can see it is so beautiful like so beautiful but overall i really love this unit hopefully y'all enjoy this video if you did give me a thumbs up comment down below and i'll see y'all in my next video bye y'all